This video is brought to you by Elsa Speak. I've recently discovered another very effective way to skyrocket your vocabulary. If this is something that you're interested in, continue watching. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to describe this new way first and have you guess what it is. A little riddle if you may. So this is something that people stop doing because of the increased use of technology. However, back in the day, almost everyone would entertain themselves by doing this activity. This is something that you would find in newspapers and magazines. Nowadays, of course, you can find this online as pretty much anything else. This activity helps you work on your focus and has a relaxing effect at the same time. Solving these, as I mentioned, helps you improve your vocabulary and increase your knowledge base in general. And this is a scientifically proven fact. So have you already guessed what I'm talking about? If you haven't, then you definitely will after the following clues. Usually it takes the form of a square or a rectangular grid of white and black shaded squares. The goal is to fill the white squares with letters forming words or phrases by solving clues which lead to answers. So, ringing any bells? I'm not gonna keep you waiting any longer. It's the drum roll. Crossword puzzles. Yes, oldie but goodie. Not only will they help you increase your vocabulary significantly, but also help you get more familiarized with the culture of the country of the crossword puzzles you'll choose to solve. And if done regularly, they can improve your memory and brain function. Plus, you'll improve your spelling. Name at least one language learner who doesn't want this. And researchers say that it's not even necessary to do them every day. Even solving them once a week makes a huge difference. And let's be honest, it's just a fun activity. Truth be told, I last solved crossword puzzles when I was in school. And I've never done it in English. It just never crossed my mind that I could do this in English. Not until I came to the US and I saw my friends solving one. And it dawned on me. I was like, wait a minute. There is such a thing as crossword puzzles. I had totally forgotten about this activity since the era of technology. And then I ordered this huge book of easy crossword puzzles, which as it turned out, weren't that easy. And not because I didn't know any word or definition, but because to be able to answer some of the questions, you need to be familiar with American culture, at least a little bit. Don't, however, think that if you don't know the culture or your vocabulary is not that advanced, you won't be able to do crossword puzzles in English because thankfully in this day and age, we have the internet. And believe me that if you make an effort and do your research, those words and interesting new information will stick with you for a long time for sure. This is an easy crossword puzzle and I can't figure out at least half of the words, so don't feel bad. But believe me, solving them works like a charm for improving your vocabulary. So I will leave the link to this crossword puzzle book in the description and to some free online crossword puzzles as well. And lastly, I would like to recap my favorite favorite ways to increase vocabulary because I really believe they are worth your salt as long as you follow through with them. The first one would be practicing your pronunciation. In this case, practice the words you would like to learn, but not five or even 10 times. I'm talking about hundreds. This way you're killing two birds with one stone. You're practicing your pronunciation and learning new vocabulary. And speaking of practicing your pronunciation, I would like to introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, Elsa Speak. This is the first of its kind app as it pinpoints your pronunciation mistakes using cutting edge artificial intelligence technology. The app has 40 plus real life topics and 1,600 plus lessons that range from business topics like everyday office conversations, job interviews, business travel, sales meetings, to casual everyday topics like movies, food and drink, education, and entertainment. It also has an amazing dictionary that shows you how to pronounce any words or phrases and community feature that allows you to add your friends and colleagues and compete with a leaderboard, as well as ask for help by posting a word you're struggling with and having friends help you correct it. 
It is crucial to learn the pronunciation of a word when you learn a new word. And this app makes this process super enjoyable, easy, and effective. And it will help you not only improve your pronunciation, but also your intonation and fluency. Now my son will give you a little demonstration of how it works. He really wanted to show you how he practices because he actually likes this app. On cloud nine. Okay, let's try it. On cloud nine. Good job! Awesome! Let's try one more. Let the cat out of the bag. Let the cat out of the bag. Amazing! Good job! As you can see, you get an instant feedback compared to a native speaker. And if you click on the word, you'll see which sounds were incorrect, if any. And you can listen to them and practice saying them and then practice saying the whole phrase again. And I have an exclusive discount for you guys to get 85% off of the Elsa Lifetime membership and 40% off of a one-year membership. All you have to do is just click the link down below in the description. And now let's get back to my favorite ways to improve vocabulary. Writing for me is one of the most effective ways of boosting my vocabulary. It can be anything. You can write emails, you can have a diary and document everything, or the most important things that happen throughout the day. You can write about your feelings, which also has a therapeutic effect. And nobody has to see that. And you normally have enough time to think about the wording and look up words and expressions. The next one is reading. When you read, you constantly come across new words. This doesn't mean that you have to look up all of them unless you want to. However, you can figure out most of them based on the context. And when you come across the same words in the same context, you memorize them and you understand how to use them. The same goes for when you're watching something in English. And now, of course, doing crossword puzzles will be joining this list. And finally, consolidating everything you learned by speaking. Somehow, when you actually say words and put them in a sentence, your brain memorizes them more easily and quicker. It's called an output. These aren't forcible, that's why they work so well. At least for me. Because making lists of vocabulary I wanted to learn never helped me. It was too passive and a waste of my time. Okay, people, hope you enjoyed this video. If that was the case, give this video a like. And if you aren't subscribed yet, but enjoy our content, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to head down to the description box and get your discount on the Elsa Speak app. I highly recommend using this app for your learning because it's like having a pronunciation coach in your pocket 24 seven.